Shalom, welcome to The Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Dalmar, together with my co-host Mark Kronich, the statewide news service, jbstechvalley.com. And now, as you can see, he's a columnist for the Jewish press. And there's his article, he's the Albany, the Capitol Bureau Chief of the Jewish Press. Right, and I talk about how government relates to the Jewish community, or doesn't as the case may be, and it's a very rewarding uh, job that I have with that. Excellent. Simon, but who do we have today? Simon. Today we have the Chief Executive Officer of the Albany County, well, Albany Airport Authority, right. uh, John O'Donnell. Yeah, you and name, John, right. welcome to The Jewish View. It's so great Thank to you. see you here. Thank Did you. you fly in? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> a helicopter <laughs> over here, maybe drop right in. That's, that's the only way to get around is that's flying. <laughs> flying. No buses, no trains, just flying. All right, what do you think of these drones? Uh, actually, I, I think for the military, they're, uh, they're quite fascinating. Uh, matter of fact, uh, they, uh, they actually uh, fly the drones out of Syracuse. I don't know if you knew this. No. And they actually fly in, in the, the Middle East, and they run missions out of Syracuse. And I had the opportunity to meet the colonel, and uh, he did a presentation for us regarding the drones. And it's just quite fascinating that they can actually do these missions. Right. Uh, and they do a lot of training. They do world worldwide training for uh, drone pilots right out of Syracuse. Well, I think right. we're talking maybe about two different types of drones because uh, Amazon wants to use drones <laughs> to <laughs> deliver their yeah, products. Well those, and uh, then I just saw on TV that they have uh, someone uh, put uh, ammunition guns on drones and yeah. were firing ammunition from drones. Well, those and, uh, uh, you know. those need to be regulated. And, uh, yeah, and you, you, to, you don't need an airport for drones, to. I mean, I don't uh, know. I'm the, lar the, the large uh, drones, of course, the military, you definitely need a, uh, an airport because they have a 60-foot 60 uh, 60 wide wingspan. Uh, but the smaller ones that Amazon, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're flying. Uh, but they're quite regulated right now, and they haven't really opened up the airways to all the different Would drones. Albany have drones, or it's just Syracuse has a... Has the we we don't already. we don't have any drones mm -hmm. now, yeah. and uh, like I was saying, the the FAA has restricted the use of drones, uh, so it's not for a full commercial application right now. Uh, but uh, these companies like Amazon and uh, people that want to do uh, aerial photography mm -hmm. and surveying, right. they are really pushing the FAA to open up the airways uh, for this drone use. So it, pro it, it most definitely is coming, uh, but the FAA is really studying it very carefully to make sure it's, it's very safe. Yeah, because people want to use the drones to take pic wedding pictures. And really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They did. And yeah. It was a Hudson Valley case. I think there was a, really? a guy who wanted to run for Congress or a congressman or something, and he want, he's a multi-billionaire, and you know, he had this, a drone with taking pictures, and he got into a little trouble with the FAA. Right. And, oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, so. uh, and what we do is we direct people that call us uh, looking yeah. if they can fly a drone in the capital region, we direct them to the FAA because they are quite regulated, very strict right now. Well, let me ask you this question. <clears throat> Why are we called the Albany International Airport? <laughs> yeah. Where is the word well, international I, coming uh, into play? Well, it's a, it's a long story. Well, let's make it but short, they, but we okay, do have a half they, hour. They so. want it. Well, okay. <laughs> One thing that we do have is we do have customs. So yes. we, can, we can take aircraft in internationally, and we do every day. Uh, uh, they fly private aircraft uh, when they're flying from Europe. This is a, a very common stop for the, that international traffic before they go to the West Coast. Uh -huh. So they're flying for five or six hours as they leave Europe. They need fuel, they want, they want to eat, they want to you know, restock their supplies on the aircraft. So the private pilots do land at Albany. At Millionaire. At Millionaire. Right. Um, Sometimes they stay the night, sometimes they don't, right. but they definitely uh, use our catering service. It's a very uh, okay. uh, you know, uh, robust service that we have. And, and then they, they might stay an hour, they might stay a night, and then they fly onto the West we're Coast. we're close to New well, York City, I mean close to the Atlantic yes, Ocean we are. pretty and much. But I think yes. you know what I'm getting at. It's, like, do yeah. we have flights going to other countries <laughs> no, directly? We, we don't, we don't. Now, Not we even Canada? Air, we used to have Air Canada, but they abandoned those flights. And you don't have any of the current, like Cape Air or whatever, going to no, Canada? No, they don't. They, first north they go is Messina, Watertown, Ogdensburg. Oh, well. so, so, no, no, we don't have <laughs> Because people ask me, you know, well, international. I didn't, you know, yeah. do they go to Mexico? <laughs> but it's very common. I mean, to, to defend those individuals, it wasn't my decision, but it was others individuals that did change the name. Yes. It's very common for airports, if they do have a customs and they can't accept international traffic, mm. uh, that they do put 
that in their name. So these okay. people, you do have a customs because of these private jets? Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. We're yeah. yes. We're so uh, international. We're, we can accept international traffic. Uh, many airports cannot. Yeah. So we're you need we're, a customs office. You need a customs yeah. office. And right. So if the plane had to be diverted from JFK, yeah, then we they would come we up get. Here. Uh, I, can, I can tell you a lot of stories, but Good, I'm yeah. full of stories. All right, we like uh, having <laughs> stories on the Jewish. Uh, we had a we had a, a a plane come in from China. Okay, <laughs> so uh, here it com comes in from China. It's a 777. It parks on the tarmac. Doug Myers, PR person, grabs his intern who is Chinese. Because he, of weather? I mean, why yeah, were they diverted? Uh, I can't say. Probably weather. Yes, most yeah. likely weather. Uh, right. So they diverted uh, to uh, oh, to oh, Albany. Man. You know, it's got a couple hundred people on board. Doug Myers grabs our, our intern who happens to be Chinese, and he runs up the stairs, and he wants the intern to say hello in Chinese and communicate with these people. And he goes, okay, say hello, welcome to Albany Airport. And she goes, I don't know a word of Chinese. <laughs> Yeah. So, so you she's know, an American. She's person. an American. Yeah. <laughs> so, but well, that's uh, like, we do yeah. get you know all all different nations. Uh, have you ever had an El Al flight uh, come yeah. to the Albany Airport? What was that? Had you know, the, the, the Israeli. Have you ever had? No, you thinking no, about no, someone no, new. No, we get, a, a, we get uh, They know I mean, English anyway. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Well, you uh, know what? But they, I want pitching for you. They can grab you and put you. Ireland's comedy, Amsterdam, uh, all the all the different yeah. uh, European, country, European yeah. a lot of European countries mostly. But. but you do have like JetBlue is moving in. You said like Air Canada moved out, but you do have uh, yes. You know, or even I mean Southwest. They say is how many? What percentage of flights isn't it very high? We uh, high? we have fifty five scheduled flights per day. Uh, Southwest handles forty six percent of our total but passenger yeah, traffic. Yeah. And uh, JetBlue starting on December 10th with two flights uh, to uh, Fort Lauderdale and to Orlando, and each flight will carry 150 passengers uh, on an A320. So uh, we're very pleased that JetBlue. We're very pleased that that just shows JetBlue's here because there is such traffic. I mean, that shows that yes. things what, are happening in oh, Albany. Oh yes, absolutely. Are the passenger absolutely. boardings are they still up from yes, last about, November? They're about up five percent right now for the years, and uh, we're very excited F about that for 2015. For 2015, because yes. I know in like November you had a board meeting and you were saying passenger boardings were up in November, but they may be slugging. Sl yeah, you know, but you were for cautious. this year our average is five percent, so uh, okay. we're very very pleased with that. You know, you must have a big radius because you know I do fly, of course, out of the Albany. The airport, a good Jewish person. Thank I go you. to Florida over here, <laughs> and um, you know, so I'm schmoozing. You know, I mean, so with people next to yep. me, and what's your story? You know, yeah, we're from the Catskills. You know, I remember from Massachusetts, and wow, this is really pulling a yeah. lot of. That's what I'm saying. A big radius of of people from you know around the we Adirondacks. Yeah. Someone was in Saratoga. I remember yeah. once. Yeah, and absolutely. Wow, well, really I I haven't flown in many years because of the. Uh, how restrictive it is to fly. Right. I mean, it's just, well, it's just the, uh, the lines, you gotta show up two hours early, you have to do that, yeah. you know, it's so restrictive. Yeah. You don't feel, I mean, I had the freedom where you could, you know, be running down the airport right. or have a friend go with you to the gate, now you can't yeah. do that anymore. I mean, all yeah, these changes, true. you know, it, it just. It has improved, though. Uh, you know, right after 911, the TSA, uh, you know, there were the lines and it was a, and Doug Myers would always say, get there 90 minutes ahead of uh, mm -hmm. your flight. And I think he probably still says, says yeah. that. But I would say that, uh, that the TSA lines usually, you know, 90% of the time, are not longer than uh, 20 minutes. Uh -huh. and, uh, and they do what they do. They have this pre-check. You know, you're familiar with the pre-check yes, uh, system I, I, where yeah. you can, uh, you, you don't have to take off your shoes, you don't have to take off your jacket. And there's, there's certain things you, you, you do not have to do like you had to do before, so it's less restrictive. That was the the line year. does move uh, more quickly, uh, and uh, we run that in the morning, we run it um, uh, right after lunch, and we run it in the evening. When, uh, during our peak times, we run that, so we don't have the lines. Well, so I, in that regard, it's, it's, it's and, improved and to before, some degree. And you're after at the airport 17 years? I, yeah, so something like that. Yeah, yeah it's twenty been a years, long time. seventeen years. Okay, because I, I mean, you know, John Egan was always yes. the, you know, he, he was, was my your predecessor. mentor. He was you know. my mentor. Yes. You know, so I just remember I, he's like still there for me in my mind. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, 
what is, uh, you know, and when I would go to the, when I look around for different pricing, you know, I check out Hartford, I check yes. out Boston, I check out Stewart, and I would look to see in an, you know, in an hour and a half, yes. two hour radius, you know, what my options are. And I found the prices to be less expensive many, many years ago. Yeah to be less expensive at the other airports. And right. I have flown out of yes. Hartford and Stewart yeah. and Boston. Yes. Now, are you more competitive with them? Uh, we're, we're becoming more competitive. OK, so you're still uh, more but, expensive. But I would say that uh, you, can find, you can find sales at other airports and, and at very attractive fares at uh, Bradley, uh, New, New York area. Yeah. Uh, we I, we don't usually check Boston because that's that's quite a hike up there. Hours. And, well, but uh, yeah, we, we do me. check Bradley. I fly low, we, we, you know, che we check Bradley uh, yeah. quite a bit. We do comparisons. Uh, so, but we've been working on the fares, and the the thing that's going to change, mm -hmm. and I, I think uh, it, you may be starting to see it now with our inc increased employments, is that. Uh, with JetBlue coming in, it's going to add competition. And so with the additional competition, with that additional 300 flights or seats per day going to Florida, you'll see the other airlines compete. For example, uh, when, uh, when Southwest uh, merged with AirTran, mm -hmm. they could very easily fly from, a person could fly from Albany, Baltimore, Atlanta, uh, and, and get there in a very reasonable time with a very short layover. At Delta had, you know, the, the market because they flew direct many times a day, Albany, Atlanta. Well, the planes were full, uh, and as a result, the fares were high. When when Southwest merged with AirTran, adding more competition, the f the fares came down dramatically. Mm -hmm. So with uh, JetBlue coming in, we'll see the airfares come down. Um, with Southwest, yeah, they're starting to come down now. I think the airlines are trying to build some loyalty uh -huh. before JetBlue arrives. And then once JetBlue gets here, uh, they'll have to compete. Now, we hear that Rabbi Simon already has a loyal Albany County Airport, in right. Albany International Airport uh, customer. You're right. Do you have a loyalty points program? Yes, we do. For people like Rabbi yes, Simon? We, yes, we do. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, what you do is you, you register your credit cards, okay, w with our, our program. And, uh, and w you get a, a point uh, for every dollar you spend. Uh, but... Uh, it's, it's a program that you should look into. It's on our website. And, oh, yeah, huh? uh, That's how I found out about yeah. it. <laughs> but it, uh, it's there. It, it's something for those that are interested in, in collecting points. I, I don't do that program. What I do is I think the, the best program is if you do fly, is get a Southwest credit card or an American credit card and, and build your points with, with the credit cards. That, that seems to work very well. And which one, and now I hear that they're restrictive in terms of cashing in those points. I mean, I'm hearing, I mean, I'm not I saying. haven't found that no. to okay. be the case. I mean, this uh, is what I'm, they change the program from time to time, but, uh, but that seems to be the most attractive way of doing okay. it. Okay, yeah. uh, you know, and, and desirable. Okay, because I mean, <clears throat> I have flown Southwest, I, yeah. you know, I think that it's very, orderly of how you get yeah. a seat, you know, it's first yes. come, first serve or whatever, it's alphabetical, I don't know, I mean, they, by, I don't know how they do it anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> they, it seemed to be, you know, I, I got on, I got off quickly, it seemed fine, you know. Um, where, where are you, I mean, we always like to introduce you to our audience, you know, new yes. guests to our audience, you know, where were you from, where'd you grow up, you know? I'm from uh, this area, and uh, I, I'm a licensed engineer, and I worked with the Office of General Services for 17 years or so. Uh, and John Egan called me one day uh, when they're starting to build the airport and invited me out to become the director of project development. Uh, I was at that time I was a licensed engineer, had a lot of large building construction experience, and he needed someone to. Uh, when, do you remember the old terminal? Yeah, that, I do. That, that's, I do. <laughs> That's, that's where I was interviewed. <laughs> yeah. And he said, we want to build a, a, a new airport. And he invited me to come out and uh, become this director of project development and head up the, the entire infrastructure development, uh, which I agreed to. And uh, over time, I, I did stay. Uh, I, th I found a home there. And, uh, and I enjoy the capital 
projects. And, so you uh, went to high school here? And yes. Which yes. high school? I went to Gildeland. Gildeland, I went to Hudson Valley, graduated from Hudson Valley, then, uh -huh. I, then I went on to Union. Uh -huh. And I got my engineering degree from Union College. And uh, Then you went right I, to the state. Uh, yes, and then I, uh, I got my engineering license. Uh, so it's, and, and is, I it P, in, is it a PE? Yes, it is. It's okay. a professional Phys engineering license. Project engineering. And okay. uh, my role at the Office of General Services was uh, project manager. Right. And uh, we would do uh, billion, it was a billion dollar capital program uh, back then. So we did a lot of projects like at Roswell Park, mm -hmm. uh, building uh, the uh, hospitals for the health, veterans' homes, prisons. I worked for BBL for a while. Oh, did you? Okay. The, was, and BBL did a lot of work for OGS. And, yes. Uh, and I worked with Don LaDuke as yeah. his assistant, Excellent. and I did a lot of the marketing <clears throat> and stuff for them. So. Yeah. Um, so you know a little about the industry. I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. This is right. Uh, you know, and it's an exciting industry. And building, <laughs> building things is uh, being an engineer. That's that's where I do focus at the, on the airport. It's 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 like my area. You always talk about expanding. I saw that once. Maybe maybe it's I don't know if they had a project so they can maybe get more international. Isn't that like the big big planes can't? No no no. We, no, we, we, Air Force we, One has landed. Yeah, we've we? we've got uh, we've expanded both runways. Oh, maybe uh, that's what I remember uh, then. And uh, we we lengthen both. I mean, we lengthen. Yeah, so, yeah. uh, so our runways are of sufficient length where we can land a, any aircraft. Uh, Air Force right. One. So maybe that's what I remember that they were talking about. C one thirty. But we're always building out there. We uh, we have a rather robust capital program. Uh, like this year, we just repaved the runways, uh, the main runway at 4.7 total capital, 4.7 million. It really um, takes that much. Yeah, but we uh, we spend <laughs> about more than my driveway. We, we, <laughs> spend, we spend about seven, eight million dollars a year just to maintain the facility. Really? Yeah. Oh it's yeah. Incredible. What's the budget for the airport? The budget, our operating budget is 45 million a year, and our capital uh, is. Uh, about six, seven million. Okay. And, uh, and how does that money it, come to you? Uh, how do you uh, get that? Uh, any way we can. <laughs> do you have, is it just no. through? Well, we, we have grants. Uh, we have federal entitlement grants, uh, which when you buy a ticket, part of your ticket price, the ticket tax, uh, goes into a trust fund, which re is returned to the airport through what we call an entitlement grant. Okay. And that's about $4.3 a so year. So you, you send like the FAA or someone a <clears> bill <throat> and you keep track of it? As the airline know? sends, the airlines, yeah. based upon our emplainments, number of passengers, yeah. uh, we're about $1.25, $1.3 million this year. Okay. Uh, we get about $4.5 million. Out of your $45 million budget, $4.5 million comes from the emplainments. It's, this is, that's an addition. Capital is an addition. Operating okay. is for 45. Capital would be an, an addition to okay. that. Okay. So uh, we get 4.5 million for entitlement. We right. get some money, uh, one and a half million dollars from the airlines. Right. Uh, and that's part of a, an agreement. We sign a five-year agreement with all the airlines. We're basically landlords. There. Right. Exactly. I don't, if you yeah. know that, yeah. Yeah. we're yeah. landlords. So they've agreed in their lease agreement to keep the place maintained, clean, new carpets, uh, okay. fresh paint. Uh, Which you don't have to do. Or you have to do we the do, carpets. Yeah. You do the carpets. We do everything. Okay. We're landlords. Okay. We, we're we total infrastructure. Okay. So so we we get uh, four and a half, one and a half, that's, that's six. Uh, we do get some uh, state grants from time to time. So like I said, we and plus we earn out of the 45 million operating, we do uh, seem to amass some cash too. Uh, and we set that aside for uh, uh, capital. So we're very capital intense and we do a lot of projects. We hire a lot of uh, engineers and architects to give us assistance. Uh, because like carpets, they only, carpets last three years in, that, in our- Really? We, uh, we get about 10,000 uh, people a day walking in and out of the airport and we wear carpets out very quickly. So do you put that out for bid? Yes, Paul, everything's mostly public bid. Anything over $25,000 is publicly bid. Uh -huh. for the so most you get part. three estimates? Uh, we do, we, we set, it, set it out for a public bid and we can get multiple, we get five, six, seven, it depends on the market. Uh -huh. So but, then, uh, and you just take the lowest one, you take one take that's lowest. most reasonable? We take uh, the lowest qualified bidder. Is it, but, yeah. it, but could it be, I'm just asking because I've heard yeah. this happen before, where sometimes the lowest, you get what you pay for, so the lowest bid might be the cheapest carpet, so then you might look for the best value. Well, I don't know. I'm yeah, just asking well, how you... Uh, we can do, on, on some 
for the most part, it's it's lowest bid. Okay. But what we do is, how do we protect ourselves? Is we put in very very tight specifications. Uh -huh. So there's there's no uh, deviation from the quality. They have to meet that specification. Uh, so it's, it, it is lowest price. But okay. there are we can do things on uh, request for proposals. Right. Uh, like service agreements might be requests for proposals, like uh, cleaning our windows, for mm -hmm, example. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a, an RFP for that. Or, and uh, it, so it, that can be uh, not, all, it, not only is a price base, but it's how they perform, uh, their ability to meet the, the time frames, yep. their prior history. So we can do some RFPs to get, to get other than just low, lowest bid. And you know, I was with the Men's Garden Club for many years. And Thank, very nice job. They, they're still yeah. out there. Yeah, we do plantings at yeah. the airport. Yeah. That's why I was mentioning Right out in the front. Yes. Right and, out in the front. And you've been nice. so, you were always so gracious in terms of uh, your, showing your appreciation for what Thank we've been you. able to Thank do. You. So Thanks. I just thought I, I just came up. You're a botanist now also, Mark. I don't know how many uh, <laughs> hats I wear. We have a lot yeah. of volunteers at the airport, by the yeah. way. We have an ambassador program right. with about 160. Which really helps the airport. To help the visitors it, come it in. Helped, what do you need? And, and Where do you want to go? And the most amazing thing, Rabbi, is that they get there at 4.30, 4.15 in yeah, the morning. Yeah, really. And they, they, the they, they, they guide the lines. They help the people. Mm -hmm. uh, and That's they're, they're nice. dedicated. Yeah, That's dedicated. very nice. Very, it is very nice, yeah. What is your salary at the airport? Oh. Not enough. No, yeah. no, it's sufficient. Well, it's sufficient. <laughs> I know, but you had something where you were going, you were being recruited by another yeah. airport, yeah. and then you, uh, I'm trying to find it, and then you uh, <laughs> see the annual salary. Mark's increase, our reporter. 16, he has 16% to $181,000. <clears> so is that uh, about what you're earning now? Is it's about that, yeah. yeah about under that. 200 still? Yeah. It's still yeah, under 200. Yeah. You got to get it over 200 yeah. already, you know. Well, it's. But every everyone says you're worth every penny, oh, thank and you. you're probably worth <laughs> you're probably underpaid. But you know, well, I'm just. There's a market. There's a market for individuals that want to uh, run airports. Yeah. So uh, and uh, you can uh, you can move around the system. It, it for the young people, and I and I do I do mentor some young people that are just starting out because they're, they're, they start at the bottom. You start at the lowest you know, yeah. rung of the ladder. And I always say that if you, if you, if you, you there's some certifications that you can do uh, through the aviation system. You know, you do your certifications, uh, you learn, you, and there's job growth from operations. You start in operations, you work evenings, you go to days, you become a supervisor, you become mm -hmm. a manager, you can become a, Assistant oh. airport director, you become a director, and you. There's a lot of that that these young, these young people can can grow and and, and I, go up. And I didn't realize this, but you're, it says here your contract expires in October of this year. <laughs> I just read that. I wasn't here to you know. I just copied what I you know. And I don't believe everything I read. But yeah, is that true? Is yeah, it, it does. You know? But so uh, you're just. Gonna I might get a renewal. Who knows? I think you should. <laughs> Thanks. But you're not looking elsewhere. You look. You're looking to stay. Yeah, I'm looking to stay. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure. Because <laughs> how many guests have we had that yeah, have, no, after we well, interviewed them we they, feel like they, they left? Jinx over here, you know, they lose. <laughs> and because okay. Of us, I so hope. I have some other things here I wanted to ask you about. You have a good problem in terms of a squeeze at the airport, a parking squeeze. Yes. In that I went <clears throat> to the airport one time for an event, and I had to park uh, all the way by the hockey facility. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know where I was Sometimes. going, and it really seemed like really far. I was like, yeah. if I went the wrong way, I thought I'd end up in the correctional facility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some so. people come into the airport and they said, I had to park in this Guiuna. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, it's on airport property, it's not this Guiuna. So. <laughs> but uh, that, is, that is a problem we're working through, uh, and uh, it's a unique problem because it's a, it's a change in behavior of people. Because in 2005 we had 1.5 million employments. Right now we're we, we will we think we'll be hitting 1.3 million. But today we have more people parking at the airport mm -hmm. than we did when we had 1.5. So what's changed? It's behavior. People, yeah. They don't want to come by taxis. What else would right. you come and, by? Right, and people are thinking and acting more independently than they had in the past. Uh, in, in 2005, people would say to their brother, wife, you know, yeah, son, can you drop me off to the yeah. airport? Uh, they're not doing that any longer. Yeah. They're saying, look, 
I don't want to bother you. I'm, 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 I'm more independent. Uh, I have more disposal income. <laughs> I'm just going to drop my car. I'm going to park in the garage. I'm going to park in long term. Or wow. The, uh, the, the, our economy lot, the shuttle bus lot. So as a result, we're getting, we're, we're getting full. And uh, that's a position we don't want to be in because you Whoa. always want to offer options to, you know, the, your, your, There's a solution your patrons. There's a solution for that. Just like the airlines, when they're all booked up, what do they <clears> do? Raise the rates. Uh, well, you know, raise that, the parking that rates. Is, uh, that is, that is, <laughs> some people have made that suggestion. And then more people will say, uh, gee, you know, drive me to the airport at five in the uh, morning, you know. <laughs> our, our reaction was to build more parking. So okay. <laughs> as a result, we're, we've been building parking. The engineer in you says, yes, oh, i got to get another project. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> so we've been building more parking because uh, that... The alternative raising rates uh, probably will, will help the problem, uh, but uh, that's not the solution that, that we're looking okay. for right now. But uh, with that, since uh, I don't know when this is going to air, no. <laughs> uh, we do have a lot. I mean, for example, we, we will be raising rates. Okay. Uh, we have a lot called our, you, which you may know, it's our E lot. It's the shuttle, the shuttle right. lot, the economy lot. The one I use. We we <laughs> built that in two thousand five, and the rates were five. Five dollars a day. Well, today, fifteen years later, the five dollars a day. So we think that may go to six dollars. Uh oh, wait a <laughs> six dollars. That's a forty percent increase. Wait a minute. Well, that's a forty percent increase. It is a big increase. It is. We I'm thought gonna... about making it five, five, five. Yeah. But I don't think don't people like, like that. I think. Wow. I think we'll go to six just because it's but they simple. Have, I remember I went in February to Florida when every, every person goes, mm -hmm. and they had a side lot in the back, which was gravel that they... Oh, we use that all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. We Maybe you should pay time. that. That's well, we're, we're, we've we're got here. a project right now to, to create 300 spaces, yes. All right. So okay. And, uh, all right. Do and, that. And Hopefully we'll get it done this year. If not, do, we'll do it next, next spring. Do me a favor because I love this, the half hour free parking. Yes, that'll stay. That'll so stay. I yeah. really hope so. I'll yeah, put my pitch in okay, for that good. now. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. So we only have a few minutes. Art in the airport was a fascinating yes. uh, thing on your website. Yes. The way you have these artists uh, designing, you know, the light shows. And yes, yes. I, we, I really wanted you to talk about that. We're very supportive of that. Well, Sharon Bates is our... She's our director of our arts and ex exhibitions program, and she does an excellent job. Uh, but she solicits art from uh, throughout the region, curates the show, mm -hmm. has uh, marvelous themes, uh, but we always, we always have something interesting going on out there. Uh, have you and, met and the artists? Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Michael so, Oatman, uh, for example, is one of them. Yael uh, Errol? Yael, Era. No, I haven't met that person. No. Okay. <laughs> and then Larry Kagan. Yeah. And I was just wondering if you know these were if Yael Era was a was Israeli or not. You know, it just yeah. sounds that way. Yeah, I yeah. Don't know you know, myself. So that's why. But, uh, I was but it is very nice. But it's, it's going interesting. on. You it's go going to an airport and you mm. see the great art. You know, and my wife appreciates art more than I do. Yeah. But well, this is really beautiful. You know, yeah. you go to the airport, a bunch right. of uh, a tin can. You know, just get me yes. out there yes. and. You know, it is a beautiful airport Thank you. now. Thank you. Well, the, well, that that was part of it. That that's that was our goal, to make it aesthetically pleasing, convenient, comfortable, uh, reduce anxiety, add, and add the art element to help us really, do that. That's well, the pro yeah, the, the, yep, it's the, a, the project that's on now is called Lit, and it goes through September thirteenth of twenty fifteen. Yes. So. And there's some there's some component of that that we're going to do permanently, uh -huh. and uh, but it's not a hundred percent done right now. And what we're doing is we're adding color to the, the stair towers in the garage because they're all glass. Yeah. So Sharon's working on that okay. with the artist to see if we can add more color to give as you go by the airport. It's very colorful. So uh, anyone who has 20 minutes to get in and out of the airport for free, you <laughs> yeah. can go see this uh, yeah, exhibit. Well, actually, I, yeah, I think she'll stamp your, your parking oh. for like an hour or two oh, when, you, okay. if, when you visit the art gallery oh, thank during you. the hours okay. that it's open. She does that for okay. me. Right, now then. I want to talk to you about your board. Yes. You're the chairman of the board is uh, Reverend Ken Doyle yes. from the uh, uh, Roman Catholic Diocese. Yep. He's the chancellor. And then you have also a, fr a friend of mine, who's someone that I know, Lion Greenberg. Yes, excellent. Who's a excellent doctor. Board member. Yes. And he's uh, the founder of Capital Region Orinlaryngology Head and Neck Group. And you got that right <laughs> over here. So I just wanted to, yeah. you know, and Lion seems to be on just a lot of committees. I mean, yeah. audit, personnel, <clears throat> yeah. 
He's chairman of public communications and he's chair of governance yes. in the charter. Yes. I mean, the guy's busy enough. I mean, <laughs> yeah. now you make, you put in, you know, he's well, involved with this. I mean, they, they help us make a lot of critical decisions. Uh, we have an excellent board. Uh, Dr. Greenberg uh, is uh, totally dedicated to the airport. He, he loves the airport, uh, he's totally engaged. He gives me a hard time about the Air Canada flights. Quite, yeah, quite a bit. Okay. He goes, I want you to call them. Because we do, air service is a big part of uh, my job, uh -huh. uh, is to maintain the air service, make sure we have good connectivity. Uh, but uh, the board members, uh, we, I, like I said, I got a, a very engaged board. Uh, matter of fact, uh, our next board meeting is July 27th, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in a shuttle bus, and I'm going to take him to those sites I, because we've got new projects that are coming to completion. Is it open to the public, the board meeting? No, uh, yes, the board meeting is, but the tour won't be. Oh, the okay. tour is going well, there to be. There you go, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I have friends, uh, I'll get a special pass. Yeah, you, get it, you can. <laughs> uh, but we've got some new buildings that are completing, and I want the board to go out and see them. Okay. So uh, I'll have them out on, on the airfield. And they're gonna t I'm going to take them out on the runway because we just repaved it, and I'm but, standing in the middle of the runway because that's a, a sight to see, which... Well, most people don't see up close. No, that's true. And Dr. Greenberg is someone who's extremely uh, yeah. fastidious in terms of oh, the, yeah. way, yes. the way he likes oh, to no. see things. There's and no question about that. That's a good word, <laughs> fastidious? Yes, yes, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yes. That, that yeah. tags him, right? Yes, it does. Okay. Anything else that you want to mention that I didn't have a chance to bring up in the half hour? I think, I think you covered it pretty well. Happy okay. flying. That's, yeah, it. that's yeah. the main thing. Well, Listen, John, thank you very much. You and I enjoy us. flying, and it's a beautiful airport. And you um, should only keep on going with more success. Yeah, thank yes, you very much. Much success. Thank to you for you. inviting me. Oh, you're very welcome. Yes. We'll have you back. Okay, thanks.